an astronomical project. NASA is visiting Fort Drum to fly drones during the solar eclipse, measuring differences in the Earth's atmosphere before, during, and after totality. All of our data is going to be brought together to look at impacts along this path of totality. From Mexico up through Maine, there's going to be data collection going on. 5,000 feet, 66 percent. These scientists from the NASA Langley Research Center chose to come to Fort Drum because of its airspace. It's not often that we're able to, to take a small UAS like this and fly it as high as we are. With the current regulations, uh, most of the time UAS aren't, aren't going over you know, 400 to 1,000 feet. So having restricted airspace allowed us to go up uh, you know, in 8, 9,000, 10,000 feet. Now, this drone is unlike anything NASA has ever used before. It's decked out with instruments that measure things like temperature, wind, and atmospheric pressure. Scientists will take this data after the project to better understand weather patterns during natural disasters. Another example of something like this would be like volcanic ash and volcanic eruption, wildfires and things like that. We're trying to fill in all that knowledge data gaps that we have in these lower altitudes. They'll be flying with teams across the country, flying all eclipse state to better understand our world. This data is really important. I mean, we're trying to improve forecasting by turning around this data super quickly and providing it to um, like the National Weather Service to improve their modeling for their forecast. When you have such a good collective group of people from citizen science to professionals doing this kind of work and and pushing forward such a big data set that can improve what we all witness every day, which is weather, that makes me super excited. Reporting from Fort Drum, I'm Isabella Colello.